What's up, YouTube? It's Torha. I'm bringing you a brand new a uh, let's play that I'm going to do. Basically, since the release of 1.3 and all the huge changes that they did, I wanted to do a basic, you know, how to play Minecraft. Uh, we're going to start from day one, working our way through gathering the initial resources, building our first hidey hole, to expanding, building our world, and exploring. Um, so I'm kind of excited to do this one. Uh, when I started the series, I kind of skipped a lot of that and just did everything that I needed to off camera and then showed you guys the big stuff. Uh, this is going to be more of a, you know, going through the, the loops of what everybody should expect when they play so that those that are new to the game can get an idea of what to expect and those that are veterans can, you know, help critique me and give me some ideas what to show people that they've learned in their experiences and I can show you guys what I've learned in mine. Uh, so we're going to call this basically Torhan's How to Play Minecraft, and let's go ahead and see what we get. Dun dun dun, the anticipation is killing me! And we're on a plane. Ooh. Ooh. Yay, we have mountains. Maybe this is extreme hills. Plains. I want to see if we get extreme hills when they come over here. Extreme hills, yes. All right, so we're close to extreme hills. That means emeralds, baby. Yeah. Uh, but we need trees. If we don't have trees, we're kind of in trouble. So we got plenty of sheep. We got some chickens. Uh, we need to find some trees though. Because the most essential resource in the game, besides food, is going to be wood. Wood is essential, people. Hey, look, we even got some pigs over here. Oh, there's our first cave to explore, probably. We're going to avoid that for now, though, because we got to do some other stuff. Oh, look at that. Trees, trees, trees are plenty. Woo! Yay for trees! So, in order to take down a tree, we don't have any tools right now, but your hand, this thing here, is super awesome and strong. And so basically, you come up to a tree and you go, hi -ya! and you just keep punching it. And punching it, and punching it, until it breaks. And now, we have a piece of wood, hi -ya! Which, of course, doesn't break the tree any faster, but you can still hold it in your hand as you break the tree. So what I like to do is cut down about one or two trees worth of wood. And this tree is a little bit bigger because it has more than just... Actually, this one tree here will be plenty because it's actually a bigger tree. Um, your normal trees just go straight up. They don't branch out like this, but this one branches out because it's a, a, a huge tree. And so we're just going to take everything we can off of it. Um, and for food-wise... Um, you want to come back to the trees that you take down because they tend to drop apples, at least these type of trees do. And apples are a good source of food, and you don't have to do anything other than chop down a tree to get them. Uh, eventually, you can actually keep leaves from the trees that you chop down. Um, the way you do that is you use a pair of shears, and we're going to dig up a piece of dirt. A couple pieces of dirt here. Dirt is an essential building block. You can use it to build temporary structures, temporary walkways. I'm using it to build up so I can gather the rest of this tree. So what I'm going to do here is come right here and jump and jump and jump. And now I can break down the rest of the tree. Do, 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 do. I love punching, love punching trees. Yeah, but with the uh, with the addition of 1.3, there's a lot of cool things they added in here. Um, there's different types of villages that you can explore and find. Uh, there's um, all sorts of different types of uh, stairs you can make, half slabs. You know, there's all sorts of different things you're able to create now. Um, and I'm excited for this because I've been waiting for 1.3 since they announced it. I looked at the snapshots a couple times, but I really didn't play it until now. 
Um, and in my other Let's Play, you know, I've explored quite a bit. So that one's going to be interesting trying to expand it to utilize the uh, 1.3 patch, but our release. But I'm excited about it because it'll give me uh, it'll give me the the stairs and the half slabs and stuff, which I'm excited for. And I'm really excited for this world to see what we get because. I always love creating a new, starting a new world and exploring in that, and uh, so th this should be really fun. I'm really looking forward to it. That, and I get to, you know, I get to learn from you guys as much as you learn from me, because I'm sure that you guys would be like, oh, hey, you could have done it this way, and I'd be like, oh, well, thanks for telling me. And I'll learn as much as you guys do, so... I'm excited for that, because I always think that the community is the best way to learn and grow and I see comments that people post in other videos I watch and I think they're awesome because you know not everybody thinks the same way and so somebody else may have a better idea than I do and I'm more than happy to admit that I don't know everything and that other people may know things I don't and we're gonna go back down now and collect these stuff that we threw down well we didn't throw it down but we broke it and it's now on the ground and we'll keep these couple pieces of dirt as you notice, the dirt that I place has grass that has grown over it. So we got 30 pieces of wood off of that single tree. That is awesome. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build ourselves a crafting table. So you take... You can right click and put a single piece of wood. Or you can left click and put all of it. Or you can... Um, like, or you can basically, uh, if it's in your box here, you can right click and get half of it. Or if you're hovering over it, when you have it all selected, you can press right click like I did there to put one in there. So we're going to do three worth. And so then if you come over here, you can either left click a couple times to get it, or you can hold shift and press click, and then you get all of it at once. And now we're going to build... A crafting table and so what I want to do with the crafting table is oh stone oh look at that coal 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 uh, one of the most uh, other essential resources you need is coal because it lets you create torches it lets you cook the food that you harvest um, it's a very very valuable resource and it's something that you want to find early on in the game so what I need to do here is make myself a pick so I can get some coal and get some stone. So what we'll do here is we could do that to make sticks and then we use the wood and you basically it's the shape of a pickaxe and now we have a wooden pickaxe. There's other tools that you can make but I'm going to wait till we have some better materials before I make those. So what I'm going to do here is gather a couple pieces of stone as well as this coal. Cause when we, and in 1.3 they also, when you mine certain materials, you get experience for it. And those are those little green orb things that you see. Those are experience orbs. And the green bar on my screen is my experience bar. And as I level, um, as I go up in levels, I, it actually is used for enchanting. So you can go later when we have the resources we can build an enchanting table and we can make our weapons and our armor stronger and more efficient and better. Um, but for now we're just going to grab all this coal. It will be very handy to have. Oh come on. And then we gotta go grab us some food at some point. And then we need to find a nice place to... Well, look, we have coal. We have gravel here. And you want to be careful to make sure that you don't stand under where gravel may fall because it can hurt. You can basically suffocate inside of gravel if it falls on you. And we also need uh, cobble which is what you get from mining stone. When you mine stone, it turns into cobblestone. 
Cobblestone is used to create a few different things. Um, you can use it to create stone tools. You can use it to create a furnace so you can cook things. Um, and it's a really good building material because it's readily abundant in the world. So what I'm doing here is I'm mining out some cobble so I can create a furnace. And then I also want to create some stone tools, a stone sword. Um, and we'll, use, we'll basically be using stone tools and a stone weapon until we find iron. And then eventually from iron we'll graduate up to diamond because diamond is the best you can use right now. And you need diamond in order to mine like obsidian. And you need obsidian to create an enchantment table as well as a portal to the um, nether. And you also need it for an ender chest. Oh, there goes that. But luckily, I was prepared. We have more sticks. Now we have 40 cobbles, so we'll create ourselves a stone pick. And we'll create ourselves a couple more sticks. And now we can create ourselves a shovel and an axe. And then we need some more wood, so we'll do this. And we also need some sticks. We need a stone sword to defend ourselves with. And what else do we need to start off with? Oh, some torches. We now have 12 torches. So we'll put this down here. We'll put our axe down here, our pickaxe, and our shovel. There's still a few. Oh, it's going to be nighttime here. So we're going to stop in this little hidey hole for the night, actually. So what we're going to do here is we're going to. Use the cobble at night, it can be very dangerous. So, what you want to do is to avoid getting killed at night, you want to do this create yourself a little room that you can run and hide in. And it lets you survive the night without getting killed by baddies. Outside, you find all sorts of creatures that are wanting to kill you. Anything from spiders to creepers to zombies um, and skeletons. And so what I like to do is once it goes dark, I go into my little hidey hole, which we're here now. And since I don't have a bed to make the night go away instantly, we're going to work through the night by getting... And let's see here. We've cleaned out a good space, but I still want to get some more of this down. This is just temporary. Once the new day comes, I'm actually going to find a more appropriate place to call home. Or at least a temporary home. Somewhere near some animals. Probably out in the plains area. We build a little house. Let's see here. But, since we're here, I might as well stock up on resources. And actually, here in a minute, I'm going to start digging down. Because I'm hoping that I can find some... And you want to keep it well lit so that monsters don't end up spawning on you. But what I want to do is see if I can find myself some iron ore. Iron ore would be very, very helpful right now. So basically, I'm just digging down a little bit to see what I can find. If I don't find anything quickly, then um, I'll probably just go back to the whole uh, digging routine. Oh, look. You can tell you're near the grass surface because you have the grass edge on the block. And that's a really bad thing to have because you can have things fall down on you, which won't be friendly.
you want to use the appropriate tools for things because if you don't then you wear your tools out faster and that's not a good thing because then you have to make more and it, sometimes they don't actually even dig through things very quickly so you want to make sure you're always using the appropriate tool and those tools would be a shovel for dirt, sand, and gravel a pickaxe is used for mo all of your mining needs um, an axe is used for of course trees and wood and a hoe is used for farming now we haven't made any hoes yet because well we haven't created a farm we'll do that here eventually man I'm not getting lucky at all with any iron I like to go caving in some open caves normally to find iron it tends to be the easiest solution and the most readily available is in, normally in a cave um, you get lucky sometimes when you just mine down uh, but right now we're not getting so lucky and we actually need an iron pickaxe to iron to mine certain types of blocks like diamond and I think redstone needs it as well and gold alright so so far nothing and we've actually dug quite a ways too but hey we're well, at least we're gonna have some stone for our house so that'll be handy to have some stone that we can use in our next home. Oh look, gravel. Um, let's see here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something. In a minute here, though, we're going to go back up and see if it's daylight so we can go get us some some food and finish building our house properly. Okay, nothing. So we're going to go back up. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to end this first episode. Um, the first episode is really just to kind of show you guys that, you know, your first night, you want to build yourself a hidey hole gather a few resources um, you know create your first set of tools whether it's wood or stone and just get prepared for the next day and basically what I'm gonna do is we're gonna be coming back when the day comes for episode 2 and episode 2 is gonna basically cover um, finding food cooking the food and managing your hunger bar which as you can see is currently dropping you have three little drumsticks out of the 10 that are normally there and we don't want to have that drop any more than it has so I'm going to go ahead and actually here I'll show you one more thing really quick and that's to build a furnace 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 so there you go you put nine by eight blocks in and it creates you a furnace and then you use the furnace when you finally get wood and stuff to or when you finally get some hey look there's a zombie Zombie! Uh, use the furnace to cook. Uh, you basically put your material here, which can be wooden tools, wood, sticks, blaze rods. Um, just a couple other things I'm probably missing. Uh, logs, or basically wood, and then planks. Uh, you put those in there as fuel. Oh, a bucket of lava as well. You put those in there as fuel, and it will cook whatever you have put in there. And depending on how much you have to cook, depends on how much fuel you need to provide. But we'll go over that more later. For now, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to get things ready for the next episode where we go out and forge for food. And the day is coming, so I'll be with you guys momentarily. Talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody. Peace.